New York is baffling in that it's a city that prides itself on being an absolute shithole. It's like there's nothing good here, and people are proud of that. They're happy. <laughs> oh, it's it's overpriced and it's overpopulated, and, and it stinks like piss. And comics, comics film specials here, and they all open with a joke about yeah, he spent eight thousand dollars a month for nine square feet, and you go, why don't you fucking leave here? Why, why do people stay here? But unfortunately, this is where comedy works, where people are the most miserable. Like, I'd rather be filming a special in, uh, on a beach in Costa Rica at a tiki bar right now, but they don't need comedians. They're already smiling. They're already happy, naturally. So that's why I'm doing a special here, because it's the last fucking place I want to be. Smoking through this whole set. Nice. Because that's it's one of the loopholes in the uh, law. They keep the in the smoking bans, they keep if it's part of a theatrical production, a loophole in the law, because they don't want to fuck up some faggy Tennessee Williams production <laughs> and ruin the integrity of the show. So they leave this fucking loophole open for me. If, if, if the cigarette bothers you because you're envious, vote next time. How about that? Vote, yeah, every now and then. Figure out what the fuck's going on in your community. No, you don't vote, you got shit to do. Leave it to old people with breathing problems who will never come here. This whole fucking generation is so unbelievably sad. If you're just getting to like party in age, you're fucked. There's nothing going on in this country anymore. It's done. Last call. It's just a suck generation. It's the most boring fucking generation in the history of people. It's all dumbed down and watered. Wait, wait, when's, the, when's the last time you heard stories about rock and roll bands chucking TVs out of hotel windows or any of that shit that, that used to be fun? Like, there was fun in the world. I, I, some of this is gonna make me sound like a grumpy old fuck, and I am, but I have, I have just cause. There's, there's nothing, as people get older, the older you get, the more bitchy you get, you, you, cause that's just natural. The more you've done shit, the more jaded you get. But I, I think we're gonna be the first generation of old people. As soon as someone gets old, they complain about the new kids and all oh, these kids today. Look, they're crazy. It's always that the new it used to be always that the new generation was too deviant. These kids are out of control. They're crazy. They're immoral. Look at what they're doing. In our day, if we wanted fun, we just went to a barn dance and we we didn't even finger fuck till we were like 35 years old. But these kids today. It was always that the new generation was over the top, and we're going to be the first generation of elderly people complaining, but in the opposite fashion, where we're going, look at these kids today, these half faggots. We, we used to do crank off of titty dancers and shit. It was, uh, no one got hurt. We had a lot of fun. We got some good stories and herpes out of the deal. It was a fucking good time. The blisters bring me back. These pussies, they drink a Red Bull for some pep, and they'd prefer if you went on the patio for a cigarette. And the closest they come to a fist fight is on a message board somewhere. <laughs> you looking at my girl? I'm gonna delete you from my MySpace friend. You got some block user in your future, faggot. They're about to start piss testing for adrenaline in the workplace. That's how sad this country's getting. Really. Shaking your urine in front of you. Is that yours, Donnie? It looks a little cloudy. Have you been having fun on the weekend? <laughs> Are we not enough fun for you here at the Verizon Wireless family? You need to seek it elsewhere? I don't think you're a team player. That's why I love hearing uh, people go, oh, that town, that's like 20 years behind the times, that fucking place. Book me there. I had fun 20 years ago. <laughs> but I, I can still smoke indoors? Oh, I got ecstasy still pure, uncut, and readily available? Oh, shit. What cavemen they must be. 
The only drugs that are even popular anymore are all the dummy drugs, all the drugs that make you more boring, all the mood stabilizer, antidepressant. Everyone's got some mental disorder they've been diagnosed with, and they take a fucking pill. I, they push them on me all the time. I got... <laughs> Ruin so many relationships because I get yeah I because I think I fucking think all the time. Sorry. Oh jeez. Oh, you, you, you think it's ADD? No, it's not ADD. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about a lot of stuff. It's not ADD. Yeah, I stutter a lot. And I fuck stuff up, but I, that's because I'm always thinking. Well, you're not listening to me because I'm thinking about something that's more interesting than you. I'm trying to I'm trying to build a. a Perfect utopian society in my head, and what are you talking to me about? Bowling or what? I, 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 and I do. I have a head that just, just won't shut the fuck up. So where do the ideas come from? Do you have a, a head like that? Do you have the brain that just won't shut the fuck up all the time? <laughs> like... You learn to work with it. Do you ever try to do this? I tried this in July in Tucson, Arizona, and uh, failed miserably. Did you ever try to sleep sober? <laughs> you ever try to do that? It's completely impossible. I tried. Like, I got a meeting at 6.30 in the morning. I got a flight to L.A. for a meeting, so I'm trying to be responsible, and I'm just laying there in the hotel. There's no people or conversation, no distractions, sober, and no television, just your Head on a pillow. <laughs> 1 a.m., 2 a.m. You mother. Because that's when the carnival kicks into high gear. <laughs> You're almost 40 years old, you fucking loser. How long are you going to do that? How long are you just going to get drunk and amuse shitheads for a living? Well, there must be something that rhymes with orange. Lawrence, smarange, orange. This fucking music is playing in there and it always sucks. We didn't start the fire. Shut the fuck up! My ex-wife is in there. You never took me to the botanical garden. It was always about you. You fucking megalomaniac. You never cared. I was dying of loneliness. It was always bad. It's the world was turned. Shut the fuck up! You're gonna sleep. I ain't not taking fucking medication for it. That's also where the ideas come from. I'll just pour some alcohol on that when it happens and try to even it out. You work with your problems. Fucking everyone's taking pills just because you're afraid of standing out. Or uh, I was terrified when my doctor told me that I had a unique and interesting personality trait. <laughs> But then he told me about new Zoloft and Prozac, and I just take three pills a day, and I blend into this fucking horrible inbred corporate landscape, and I don't care. Uh, they'll they'll legalize any drug so long as that drug keeps you producing. That's all they give a shit about is production. You're kicking out enough boxes at the plant? Well, go. It's whatever keeps you doing that. Keeps you vaguely content sitting in a cubicle. Go ahead. FDA approved. <laughs> I have a job where I alphabetize insurance forms 45 hours a week, and I noticed I couldn't concentrate so well on my job, so my doctor put me on Adderall, and now I can just breeze through my work day. I don't even notice that my... Empty life is being pissed away underneath fluorescent tubes. I have no highs or lows. I have no good stories. I'm just, uh, but I'm getting a lot of stuff done. I'm probably the most boring person I know, but look at me produce. I just go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, I'm going to be blah, 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 You're never going to take a pill for that. You're not concentrating because that's fucking boring, and that's a natural reaction to boring. Don't concentrate. Find another way. You're going to make a living. You got bills to pay. Buy less shit and find some fun. Suck a dick. You're going to pay bills. Suck a dick. I'm talking to you in particular. Because you're close. Whatever. Spin around the brass pole a few times. Whatever. Say you saw the Virgin Mary in a grilled cheese sandwich and sell that shit on eBay. There's a grift in the system.